Now, today we are going to be doing revising of calculations with fractions today. We're going to be doing plus or addition. Okay, right, let us start with the first one. Now, let us look at the denominators first. First thing we look at the denominators. What do we notice? They are the same. So that's exactly what we're looking for because we cannot add them if they haven't got the same denominator. So there we go. Then we can just start right away. One quarter plus three quarters, plus two quarters, sorry. And it equals then we plus the two top numbers, the numerator, and the denominator stays the same. Remember, we just simply put down the denominator. There we go. We've got three quarters. The second one, let's look. Okay, denominator is the same. So immediately, let's put down the denominator. The denominator stays the same. And we plus two plus two, and we've got four. We're going to do it in one step like that. It's fine. Right, next one. We've got the same denominator again. So all we have to do is to put the denominator down. And to add the two top numbers or the numerator, 2 plus 3 is 5. There we go. Number 4 now, let's have a look. Same denominator, they're both 4. We put down our denominator, add the two top numbers or the numerators, and we've got 2 plus 2 is 4. Oh, but now what do we notice? We've got the same number on the top and the bottom, and we know when that happens that we've got a full whole number. We've got four pieces out of four, so it equals one. Remember just to say that afterwards. Here we've got the same denominator in number five, and so we put down our denominator and we add the numerators. Two plus one is three. What do we notice? We've got three out of three, which means we've got a whole number. There we go, a whole pizza or a whole number. There it is, one. Last example, we look at our denominators, which are the same. So we simply put down our denominator, and we plus 3 plus 2, and we get a 5 for our numerator. Oh, what do we notice? We've got 5 fifths. And once again, it's a whole number. We put 1. We've got 1 whole. Okay, so now in today's lesson um, about revising calculations using fractions, I want you to do it in the same way, okay?